I spoke recently with Jürgen Lindner. He's the senior vice president of marketing for SaaS at Oracle. And I asked him how organizationally mature does a company needs to be to start with machine learning and with AI? And what type of roles makes a, a power team? And how should it be organized? I do think the starting points we are being exposed to in the customer conversations are very different. Mm -hmm. um, to our point earlier, it's not that those technologies are necessarily seen the market overnight. AI is a topic that has been on the top front of mind for a lot of companies and some of them have a distinct data science muscle. They have invested into sensory data points already in the infrastructure and they are of course likely easier to get an adoption kicked in because mm -hmm. they do understand that this is going to be a game changer for them. That the word data scientist reigns high mm -hmm. um, and this is a skill set that we see increasingly invested into. But for me, oftentimes, it's more like the business analyst type of functionality that really brings it to life. Mm -hmm. um, of course, depending on the line of business, the CFO or someone, the VP of finance, for example, for finance type of scenario needs to be in there. Mm -hmm. If it's supply chain, the head of supply chain should be part of the table. And of course, always the CIO or someone from the IT department. It's, it's to your point, it's a very collaborative type of process we're seeing. Um, those individualized product use cases can be deployed by the line of business by themselves typically. Mm -hmm. It's not that this is, requires a technical foundational skill set necessarily, but I do think it's typically, to you said, it's a new power teams that are forming that where we do see an elevation of the skill set um, and dependency of the maturity of the company, either they have this type of data scientist muscle to guide the conversation quickly or we help them through our type of resources to get to this journey mm -hmm. quickly.